Welcome back, Pokemon fans. Angel of the Night here. We are back again with some more Pokemon Scarlet. And in the last episode, we actually managed to get a battle against Artisan's gym leader, Brassius. And we also ended up talking to Cassiopeia about the Team Starfall. Now, we're going to be going ahead and try to take on the Starfall base. And then as well, we're also going to try to find some new Pokemon to catch here as well. So I'm actually just going to get us some Great Balls here. We're going to get about $15,000 worth. Um, but that's going to give us about 25 Great Balls to put into the party. And off we go. So the last time we actually ended up finding a Squawkabilly. And of course there was different uh, colors of Squawkabilly. There was the green, white, there was blue and yellow. We ended up getting the yellow one ourselves. What is that? Oh, that's a Murkrow. Okay. Um, probably going to see a lot of the same Pokemon that were up on the uh, ridge up there. Looks like a lot of Teddy Ursas. There's some Pikachus. Now, the big thing here is I know that in some of the trees you can find Pineco. So we're gonna search some of the trees here and we're gonna battle some of the trainers along the way, but we're gonna leave that one alone there for just the time being. We're gonna go down to this area down here. This is where I've been most successful in finding uh, Pineco. So I'm hoping we'll find it. Now I don't know if it's Ah, oh, there we go! Pineco! Right off the bat! Right on! So Pinecones are, Pinecones are really cool Pokemon. It evolves into a Pokemon called Fortress. I'm really hoping it also does not have explosion or self-destruct at this time. But uh, it's a really cool Pokemon. It's basically a bug-type Pokemon that has, like, sturdy. And then it evolves into, like, a steel bug. Which is kind of pretty, pretty cool kind of um, pretty cool. And of course I don't have any net balls. So we're just going to have to rely on to our great balls here. Corey, that's some great, great balls. There we go. Alright, we got ourselves a Pineco. Okay, Pineco is known as the Bagworm Pokemon. It likes to make its shell thicker by adding layers of tree bark. The additional weight doesn't bother it. Look at his little eyes on the inside of his lids. <laughs> That's cool. You can tell it's a Pineco just by looking at it. Um, oh, nope, we're gonna stop the evolution for Eevee. Nope. B B B B B B B B B B B B. Thank you. We want that Eevee to become an Espeon, so we actually have to level that one up during the day. Okay, let's uh, make our way up here. Oh, look, there's a Char Cadet, and we're gonna go up and face this trainer up here. Mind you, we're also gonna try to bypass these Tauros. Ooh, they are getting scary looking. I do not see any particular bre uh, breed of Tauros there. <laughs> that Tauros is like, I'm waiting for you, sucker. <laughs> Salvador, the janitor. Man, these, these Tauros are not letting up. There's one, two, three, four, five... Oh my. These Tauros want to destroy us. Oh, Isabel. Go for the Dragon Claw. Okay, we got Nerny. A Ringy. Wants to learn Sweet Kiss. Nope. We have defeated the janitor. Maybe you can save us from these Tauros, sir? Goodness, you're strong! Get away from these Tauros while we're 
We're at it. Huh. I'd really like to see the different breeds of Tauros. Now, I know that uh, the fire one and the water one are different in each game of Scarlet and Violet, so we're going to only see one of them. <clears throat> but we'll eventually get both of them. Okay, we're going to go around the corner here, see if there's any items over on this way. Okay, so apparently he can't pick up gaming dual coins. That's good to know. Man, these Tauros are like right after me here. Again, just take a look at the trees. Check to make sure that you're getting all the items. You never know exactly what you're going to pick up. I think that's a Flabebe up there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it disappeared. Now, we probably won't see too many new Pokemon until it turns day in the game. So we'll keep that in mind. Man, Tauros are everywhere. Squawkabilly! What powers are flying taxis? Squawkabilly's plucky spirit. We're fighting a taxi driver. He says I owe him money. Oh, it's got an Intimidate. Okay, let's go for the Dragon Claw. Ooh, those Tauros definitely want to... Like, they're out for blood, man. Those things are out for blood. Hmm. Let's go to Confit. got these Tauros, so it doesn't really do us any good to try to catch these ones. I'm not really sure also how to tell apart the Tauros in the wild, because I haven't actually seen them, um, like the water or the fire ones, so I'm not really sure what to expect. I've seen them in, um, like, battles and stuff, but I haven't seen them in the wild, so I don't really know what to expect when I'm trying to find them. Okay, there is an item here. Looks like there's an item over here. Keep going. If we stop, the Tauros will catch us. There's Spide Ops. Now they do tend to hide in the tree sometimes. Kind of a heads up there. Okay. Looks like another trainer here. And a Pokemon Center, which is going to be helpful. We can then get our Axew back. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Get ready to see a real chef at work. I mean, I don't know why you're in the middle of the wilderness doing absolutely nothing except for Pokemon battles. Are you going to cook Slowpoke's tail? Is that what you're going to do? I hear it's a delicacy of the Johto region. Let's go for the Snarl. Please don't cut his tail off. I know it grows back, but it's probably best you don't do that. Now, why'd you go and do that? I just wanted to make some sandwiches for a picnic. Oh yeah, okay, sure. You were gonna make us some sandwiches while you like sent out a Pokemon to battle. 
That's a rock. I thought that was a Tauros. That's kind of funny. Now, Toad Scroll are usually in and around the trees. So, if you don't have Toad... Oh, Silazer! Yes, I was not expecting to see you yet. Let's go for the Snarl. Now, if you take a look at Silazer, and you take a look at our Coridon, they look very similar. Of course, uh, Coridon's from the past, and Silazer is from today's age. They don't evolve, but it just goes to show that the past Pokemon eventually became the present, and the present then becomes the future Pokemon. Uh, best one to look at would be like Donphan. Donphan would be a good one to take a look at in that situation. Silazer. Apparently, Silazer has been allowing people to ride on its back since ancient times. Depictions of this have been found in 10,000-year-old murals. Okay, let's keep going here. That's a Venonat. A Shrudel. Litleo. And what's in this? That is a Flabebe. Not really looking for Flabebe right now. Now we just fought that taxi guy. And if I'm not mistaken, that's going to take us down to the beach. I don't remember what's down here. But we'll take a gander down here. Take a wander. Take a see what's over here. Take a see. Yeah, let's take a see over here. Take a look. Corey. You guys are learning all new things to say over here. You guys are going to start questioning if I can even speak English. Take a see. Ah, uh, yes, there's a TM. Snarl. A pearl string. And a qualit berry. that? Ooh, it's a Tauros! Why did you follow me here? Sunflora, flood the floral fatum in formation. Sunflora flood the floral feedum in for formation. <laughs> I made up my own tongue twister. Yeah. Kids don't do that nowadays, sir. <laughs> Why does this guy look like Joffrey from Game of Thrones? Okay. Let's go for the incinerate. an item over there that we have not gotten yet. We're going to end up backtracking and going and getting that, of course. Nope. We're going to stop the evolution for Eevee again. Eevee's like, please let me evolve. And I'm like, no. You are destined to be an Espeon.
There's a lot of waiters around here. To be a waiter is to wait. I'll wait for the perfect moment to take care of you. Well, that sounded a little bit serial killer-y, but okay. Hey, it's a Riolu! Let's go for the incinerate. We have defeated Saul the Waiter. Now, wait just a moment. Why? You're gonna, like, take care of me. Whatever that means. Looks like there's some um, the dolphin looking Pokemon down there. We already got one of them though. We'll just jump. Finizen. Finizen. Yeah, we already got him. Yep, that's right. I was like, is this the one with the heart or the one that doesn't? Just trying to think about it for a minute. I'm like, you know what? Okay, hmm. we're going to get this one here. Go for the snarl. That actually did quite a bit. I'm surprised. I don't think there's anything else on this beach we need. But we're gonna get this Marini. And then we're gonna go over to the island. Then we're gonna come back, go back up the hill, and then we'll go heal up at the Pokemon Center and take on Team Starfall. I just wanna see what's over at that beach. It's been a while since I've surfed over there, to be honest. Okay, Marini. This Pokemon wanders the seaside looking for food. It often gets electric shocks from broken pin urchin spines that it tries to eat. Apparently it's pin urchin. Oh, sweet, we can swim fast, too. Nice. Oh, that is so good. That makes me happy that we can do that. And, of course, there is a ton of Kilowattrol. Um, what level are these? Level 30. Oh, we gotta, we gotta at least try. Kilowattrol. Let's go for the quick ball. I don't know if we'll catch it, but I mean, we've caught a lot of other Pokemon higher up than this. The whole uproar scenario is going to be a problem. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to swap out to something else. It is an electric type, so... Let's go to Sugar Bear. I do have a Great Ball. Let's try the Great Ball. Realistically, I should have probably tried that to begin with. Nice! Alright, we got the Kilowattrol. It's all about catching Pokemon. Sugar Bear wants to learn Slash. 
Should have called, should have called this one Sugar Crisp, not Sugar Bear. Oh well. Sugar Crisp. Okay, kill a watch roll. It's known as the Frigate Bird Pokemon. Kill a watch roll inflates its throat sack to amplify its electricity. By riding the wind, this Pokemon can fly over 430 miles in a day. Any other Pokemon in this area we want? I think we've gotten them all. Okay, let's go up here. Looks like there's a TM. Water Pledge. Nice. Really glad we came up here. Okay. Grass Pledge. Oh, ooh, it's a Floatzel. Okay, we are gonna have to, like, heal our Pokemon here if we're gonna try to get Floatzel. That thing's a beast. I'm gonna try, though. We're gonna try to get it. Now, is it day yet in this game? I'm really hoping to get that Espeon soon. That way we can swap out our Pokemon. Okay, let's go for the Dragon Claw. Resist that pretty good. Good hit, good hit. One more Dragon Claw. I'm hoping we don't kill it. Oh, very close. Let's go with the Great Ball again. Down in B. Down in B. It's okay, we're gonna lose that on the uh, Axu pulling out the victory here, but that's okay. We're gonna go to probably Quaxel. Quaxel? I can't remember this guy's name. Okay, let's go with the dive ball. Sweet. Okay, got ourselves a Floatzel. Okay, with its flotation sack inflated, it can carry people on its back. It deflates the sack before it dives. And Eevee, yes. Please evolve. He's swimming. <laughs> I hope you go to an Espeon. Yes, let's go. Espeon's also not swimming. He's more floating. Okay, Espeon is known as the sun Pokemon. The tip of its forked tail quivers when it is predicting its opponent's next move. So that is two EV evolutions. Wants to learn Confusion. Sure. We're going to take out Helping Hand. <laughs> Look at the Buizel. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we have Espeon. That's uh, a Flabebe. Um... Okay, we gotta take the Soothe Bell from 
Espeon. Now, what are we gonna put it in its place? I think we'll put Munchlax in there for now. We're gonna call him Snickers. Because he's hangry. Uh, let's see here. Where's the soothe bell? There we go. Ah, oh, what? What was I doing? Okay, what else is on this island? Oh, there's an item down there. Iron. There's a trainer there too. Probably won't be back over to this island anytime soon, so we might as well find them. I can't find it. I've looked everywhere, but I just can't find it. I can't find my potential anywhere. Wow. It's actually kind of sad. <laughs> okay, that's a big, scary looking Pokemon. Valooza. I keep forgetting that one exists. It's level 32. Yikes. I thought it was psychic. Oh, scary. Sugar Bear. Okay. Confi. I hope that's the only Pokemon he has. Yep. Brutal Swing. Yep. We're gonna take out Covet. Tink a tink. Seems my potential doesn't lie in battle either. Hey, there we go. Tinka Tink is evolving. <laughs> uh, Tinka Tough. He looks tough. I wouldn't want to upset it. This Pokemon will attack groups of Ponyard and Bisharp gathering metal. Farm them in order to create a large and sturdy hammer. 
So basically, basically the hammer of this Pokemon is made out of the body parts of those steel type Pokemon. Good to know. Don't piss this thing off. Okay. Giga Impact. Hyper Beam. Probably shouldn't have these yet. Calcium. Sure, why not? Okay, back over to the other side. What is that? Okay, it's a uh, Marini. Okay, let's try to go up to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna try to take on Team Starfall. <gasps> Ooh, I thought I was gonna go over the edge. That's a lot of Tauros. Here we go. I don't have very many strong Pokemon on my team. Hello there. I'm the Pokemon League Rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? So far you've defeated six trainers here in Area 1 in the East Province. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. We have received loaded dice. Okay. Off to the Starfall base. I'm hoping. I did promise that's what we were going to do. And that's what we're going to do. Now, if there's any trainers or anything like that on the way there, we're just going to ignore them for now. And then we'll come back through here. That's a lot of Taurus. be here this base belongs to team star if you don't clear out real quick like i'll have to come at you in self-defense you get me i'm not turning back well all right time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you You are challenged by the Team Star Grunt. I defended myself all right, 
But it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Corey. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista! Hey, Corey! Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but seems you're all set. Foo foo -woom. What? Fufu? Is that you, Carlos? Fufu? I thought so. What are you doing here? Do you know this little fella? This is Carlos, the Char Cadet. Fufu? He's one of the Pokemon that the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Fufu? Uh, Carlos, wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. It better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll re regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Corey. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shadar Squad. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Though her methods are heavy-handed, heavy -handed, our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her furry, her fury, oh my god, under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shidar squad off the map. Sure, random phone call. I'll go up and declare war for you. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Sure, why not? Careful now, Cory. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle all at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp. Beep. Heads up, gang. Some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly, he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss must just honor you with an appearance. Send your Pokemon out with the R button to try to defeat a set number of Team Star's Pokemon before the time runs out. When you're taking on the challenge of a Star Barrage, you have three Pokemon out at the same time. You lose in a Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn out of battle, or if time runs out. If one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can help it recover HP by using a vending machine. If you decide you want to give up before the time runs out, press the Y button. Defeat 30 Pokemon. 
Okay, three, two, one, go! Alright. Oh, why do I have Sugar Bear? Interesting. Okay, we got seven so far. Come on, Sugar Bear! is just running around like he knows everything. Okay. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-one? Yeah, I'm an overachiever. <laughs> I like to do thirty-one out of thirty. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. of Team Star's fire crew, Mela. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star? I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. All right, Bella. <laughs> okay, Torkoal. We're pretty sure we can take it. I have drought. Right here, right now, you're going down. It does have drought. Okay. It's also level 27. I didn't expect it to be level 27. This move will torch you till there ain't nothing but ash left. That was for the rest of the Sheetar squad. Okay, let's go for the Aqua Jet. I thought that was actually going to finish it off, but it's not. <laughs> Rather room. Tch, I ain't burnt to a crisp just yet. <laughs> We're gonna face the truck. Uh, funny. Okay, um. The Star Mobile. Uh, 
Yeah, it gets speed boost. That's nutty. Blazing Torque. Pretty good hit. Sunlight has faded. We're also burned. I don't think I have any full restores. Let's go for the Aqua Jet. Decent hit. Decent hit. Screech. Okay, let's go to Poutine. Not that effective. Interesting, let's go for the Snarl. I thought it was a Steel type. Might be a Poison type, now that I think about it. Does it actually get speed boost? Or is that just something that they gave it? Okay, we have defeated the Starmobile. really how it's going to end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough power Enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you were any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surely, a, a sure, surely attitude, so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surely attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Eerie. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What, pray, is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Quaxwell of yours really let us have it. Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. <laughs> and she's crushing my hands. 
While I'm at it, you could have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. We have obtained TM38 Flame Charge. Flame Charge. Cloaking itself in flame, the user attacks the target. Then, building up momentum, the user boosts its speed stat. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Quaxwell. Well, Quaxwell can't learn Flame Charge, but okay. You've got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Fluke? A Char Cadet? Wait. Foo-foo? Well, if it ain't Carlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can't even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Carlos wanted to visit you? <laughs> Foo -foo. Carlos? To me, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were mo motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us win with a big fight. But we've never actually used it against anyone before you two come looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever hear of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Will she go back to school? Clive? Corey, it's me. It seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, didn't she? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shidar squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. You earn 5,000 LP. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Uh, hello? I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, 
The treasure hunt? I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. We have received lots of Pokemon materials. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take on one of the Team Star bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. Bye, Penny. All right, guys, so we finished up with the Team Star base, and that is where the episode is going to end for today. Hopefully, you guys had a fantastic time and enjoyed yourself, and I hope you all take care. Peace out.